I have believed for a long while now that game AI of NPCs trained using machine learning compared to the traditional explicit rules based approach yield much better performance and also provide a more fair competition to the human players. Today I have a great example of this showing how reinforcement learning agent in Gran Turismo can far outperform both traditional race car AI that is inbuilt in the game as well as expert human players without requiring to use any unfair advantage. These results are from the paper published recently by researchers at Sony and ETH Zurich and is titled Superhuman Performance in Gran Turismo Sport Using Deep Reinforcement Learning. It implements a standard RL framework with a simple actor critic model where the car state and position are used as input to the model and a reward signal is designed specific to this game. Nothing new with the algorithm but it is amazing to see it run almost perfectly on an actual production game in real time. On the left is the RL agent and right is an anonymous human player who is an expert at this game. It is claimed that this person has managed to beat the inbuilt game AI by a significant margin and can be considered the best opponent for benchmarking against the new reinforcement learning agent. As you can see, the RL agent is able to beat this person because it has learned to take very precise and sharp turns which a human would fail to do so without crashing the car. Unlike traditional AI, this method does not rely on any unfair advantage that a computer may have over human, such as increasing the throttle response or changing the steering angle in an instant, which is impossible for a human. By enforcing the same limitations of physics that humans face, this AI has a level playing field and it still manages to outperform the expert. This is amazing. Now the logical next step is to bring this AI to an actual Tesla with full self driving, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to sit in a race car run by this AI or you think it's still not ready to be trusted yet. Leave your thoughts down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.